everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the FP Journe Chronomet Souverain, and this is the 40 millimeter wide version. Um, this came out a couple years ago, and it's just a beautiful, gorgeous watch. The Chronomet Souverain is one of my favorite dress watches from one of my favorite brands, and if you want to have just one highly refined Swiss Geneva made dress watch um, from a fine brand. Well, this is this is the way to go. This is the way to go right here. This is just an excellent timepiece. There's various versions of this in different materials. And more recently, um, FP Jorn has incorporated some dial making into the manufacturer. So there are some uh, different dial designs as well, which are really quite, kind of cool. They're actually solid gold um, dials and they look a little bit different, but it's the same layout. And those are something that are worth looking at. So let's talk about this moving a little bit. It's, it's quite, it's a basic watch, but it's it's just a very beautiful thing. So one of the things that makes most, but not all, FP Journe movements distinct is the fact that they're produced from gold. It's a solid gold movement as opposed to brass or any other metal, and it looks it. The finishing is gorgeous. Um, off, oftentimes they're symmetrical in their design, and these movements just look like a million bucks. You really can't go wrong with a movement from FP Journe. This specific movement is a caliber 1304. It operates at three hertz, power reserve of about 56 hours, and it's manually wound. On the dial, you have the time with a subsidiary second style and a power reserve indicator, and the power reserve indicator is placed at this quite traditional place um, right next to the crown there, and I, I quite like it a lot. It's 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 um, just a very aesthetically pleasing layout, and you get a little bit of that asymmetry, which I don't always like, but in this instance, I find the asymmetric dial to be uh, attractive. The dial itself has some decor in the middle. There's a little bit of engraving, um, as you can probably see there when I tilt the watch to an angle and otherwise it's very high contrast with those blued steel hands that are quite easy to read. This particular version of the 40 millimeter wide case is an 18 karat rose gold. There's a platinum version as well as um, possibly, I think those. I think it's basically platinum um, and 18 karat rose gold. There might be a white gold version, but I don't believe so. There it is on the wrist. You can see that low profile. It just sits so nice and thin on the wrist. That makes it not only very comfortable, but if you are the type of person that wears a suit a lot and is concerned about sleeves, this watch will just slide right out of those sleeves with ease. The strap is actually blue alligator there, which has a nice look, which matches the blued steel hands, which I think was a nice attractive touch. And you can see that the strap curves and is integrated in the case. It looks very, very attractive the way it's done. The lugs are a little bit on the longer side, which helps the watch feel a little bit larger. So that's a very good sized 40 millimeter wide watch. The uh, Chronomet Souverain is really sort of a core collection piece, even though it came out a few years ago. I think it's the type of thing that is always going to be very popular. If you want to step it up, there's obviously watches from the brand with more complications. You have a big date indicator, you have automatics, you have calendars and things like that. But for that sort of core experience, this is fantastic and makes for a great experience. Again, this is the FP Journe Chronomet Souverain. Price is about $30,000, and you can see the full review on a blog to watch soon. Thanks.